Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katie and I'm so happy that you're here. Today we're doing another thrifting video slash Pinterest, kind of all rolled into one because we are decorating my newly renovated-ish, which I'll explain in a second, entryway. So I wanted to head to the thrift store and thrift my Pinterest board that I've been pinning things to for quite a while now. So I used that as inspiration for what I was looking for. So I wanna quickly show you what my inspiration was and then I got a little bit of footage at the thrift store. I'll show you what I picked up and then we'll get right into the DIYs and the decorating. Okay, so here is my Pinterest entryway board and the first thing you'll see a lot of is this Ikea hidden shoe storage, which we have, so I'll be decorating that today. But basically what I wanna find at the thrift store is like a little basket that I can put keys and things like that in. I'm looking for sort of these earthy tones and anything that's sort of like some stoneware that I can find, stuff like that. So you, you'll see a lot of that on my board, especially if you're following me on Pinterest, you can go check it out. And then the other thing I wanted to do was make an abstract watercolor piece of artwork. So I pinned a lot of that here and I thought maybe I could try it out. Okay, at the thrift store, I didn't find anything super exciting, but they did have a lot of different little baskets and trays to choose from, which would be perfect for my idea for storing keys and things like that. And then the other thing that I found a lot of was the stoneware, which again was something that I pinned a lot and was looking for in particular. So I was excited to find a bunch of different options here. But in general, they had some pretty good stuff, but nothing, nothing too crazy, but enough for what I needed. I would say I came away with a few good finds. Okay, so the first thing that I picked up was this piece of art, which I really just got for the frame. I love this just plain wood frame and it's from, the frame itself is from like a local framing store. So it's a good quality frame and it was only $8. Um, the print itself looks like something someone picked up in St. Lucia on vacation and it's actually really pretty. So I might just save it for later for something else, but I want to create my own piece of artwork and I do this a lot. Just go to the thrift store to get a good quality frame for pretty cheap. Okay, next up we've got baskets because who can go to the thrift store without getting a bunch of baskets? So this is like just the first one with these little handles and it reminded me of the pin that I had where it was like a plant hanging on the wall in a basket. I thought that was really pretty. So I grabbed this one and I think I can use it for that. I also wanted another little basket or tray for just like keys or little items that we want to put on the entryway table. So I picked this one up. I think it's pretty good. It's shallow and it's pretty small. And I should mention that each of these little baskets was like two or three dollars. Then for four dollars, I got this basket, which probably won't even fit in my entryway, but I really liked it and I know I can use it somewhere, so I grabbed that too. And lastly, I wanted a little decorative item. I was looking for something like stoneware or pottery and I found this little guy, which I think is so cute. I like the colors, they're pretty neutral, just the gray and the navy and kind of earthy tones and I think it's gonna look really nice. So before we get into all the decorating, it wouldn't be one of my videos without a few DIYs. So the first thing I wanna make is a little holder for mail. So I'm just using an embroidery hoop, like the outside part of it, and I'm going to cut it in half. Now, I already did one, but basically I just measured it and then I marked uh, the halfway point and then you can cut it using whatever tools you want. I'm gonna go a little lazy and use these cutters. Um, they got the job done. So now I've got two little half hoops and then I just took an extra piece of scrap wood and painted it white with just some white acrylic paint. You can use any color that you want. While that's drying, you can go ahead and paint the little half circles that you cut. And for this part, I'm going to be using some gold acrylic paint. Once those are completely dry, then you can line them up on your little piece of wood, make sure that they are even, and then I'm using some E6000 to give it a little bit more security than hot glue, and um, I'm just gluing them right down, making sure that they are both even in from each side of the wood and that they're looking good, and once it is fully dried, you can stick your mail inside. Next up, I wanted to do just an embellished vase. This is a vase I've had for years and I wanted to add a little something to the bottom of it. So I had this piece of leather that I got at the craft store. You can use like faux leather, any type of fabric, whatever you want, but basically I just put a bit of hot glue on each side of it and I wrapped it around the bottom of the vase. It didn't fit completely, but you won't be able to tell once I fill it up and I just think this looks really nice and chic. Much more high-end than what it cost me. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest here, I couldn't bring myself to rip apart 
that frame that I got at Goodwill. So I actually had another frame that was very similar that I found in my collection. So I'm using that instead, which is totally fine. And I just measured out the little inner part of it so that I could cut out this watercolor paper. So I picked up a big piece of watercolor paper at the craft store, and then I just measured that and cut it out. And I'm going to create this abstract watercolor art. So I picked up this tube of watercolor paint. It was only $4 at the craft store and I am a total amateur. I have no idea what I'm doing. So you are learning with me unless you're an artist and then you're not learning anything from me at all. But basically what I did was just add a bit of water to the paint and then I started to draw a straight line right across the top. So I kind of want to do this in like going from darker to lighter. So. I added less water at first and then I just drew a big line and kind of made a rectangle. And then as I moved down the piece of paper, then I added a little more water and made the next one a little bit lighter. And I tried to keep them even like the same length and everything like that. If you mess up, like this is the great part about watercolors is that you can go over it again. You can add more paint, you can do more water, you can kind of play around with it however you want to. I'll be honest, I was really nervous, but it was kind of fun to just sort of like play around with it and see what I could make. So as you can see, as I'm getting down toward the bottom, I'm going even lighter and sometimes I would add a little bit more paint with less water to create some darker areas. And then the very bottom one, I decided to make super light almost so you can't see it, but I think this looks so cool. I think anybody can do this. It's really easy and it looks so pretty when it's all framed. I'm so happy with how this one turned out. So like I said, we have the Ikea hidden shoe storage. It's so nice because our entryway is so narrow and we really wanted a way to keep our shoes there but without having them being in the way. So we are really happy with this and I wanna decorate the top of it and put something on the wall. So here are the items I'm working with for now. I've got a candle, the little DIY mail holder that we just made, and then this little vase that I got at the thrift store. And of course, the other vase that we made with the leather, and then this basket that I'm going to use for keys. So I just play around with everything. I never really have a plan going into stuff like this. I just sort of move all my items around until I like the way it looks. You don't have to be an expert. I think that it can be really intimidating trying to figure out how to decorate a space like this, but I really just think it should be what you like. Um, so I'm gonna add these little, I think they're called bunny tails, right into this face. And I think those look really nice and natural. And then again, I like added a plant. I had no idea. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, but it ended up looking like this. And instead of hanging the art up, I decided to just prop it right on top for now. And I think that this turned out so great. It really upgrades our space and looks really nice. Thank you. 